We set the trend in this trip. Was Hoover Groover a part of Hoover? Yeah. yeah. Oh, never met Hoover Groover. Never met him. He was never in my life. Trey, four, seven, eleven, the deuce, the nine, and the C. Hoover hate to the coach enthusiasts, the Hoover Knights, and the collective. This thing we term under the groove is back to drop upon you for the edification of the continued perspective regarding another version of this tapestry comprising of the Hoover verse. We're proud to present again an episode featuring Big Groove CJ, an original Century Hoover Crip. That's right. Y'all didn't think I was going to get a Century Hoover up on this thing, huh? <laughs> well, he's here, man. He's in the house. All right. But listen, before we get to that, man, and get to this interview with CJ, man, I like to say something in regards to family. When I say family, man, I'm speaking about all of us. Crip, blood, gangster, criminal, all of us. Listen, man, we're all we got. We're all we got, man. Ain't nobody else coming to save us, to help us, to do nothing for us, man. Don't give a damn about us. So listen, man, when you see somebody, man, you got to understand we're connected in more ways than one. Not just through blood, you know, but we're connected through experiences, man. Shared experiences at that, man. Um, we have this thing, man, that we're connected through blackness, you know, and we have the connection dealing with our past. There's nothing that separates us, man. Nothing. I say that to say, man, when you see another black man or woman, man, that's you. That's your son, your grandson, your nephew, your niece, a black woman, whatever, man. Hey, man, give him a nod. Simple nod. Give him a black fist, man. And give him some love, man. It's family. It's family, man, we're trying to get back to and we're trying to co communicate with. So let's deal with that, man. Understand that when you see somebody look like you, it's family, man. All right? Take that in perspective, man. Let's deal with that. Um, <clears throat> let's get into this thing, man. This is CJ, man. Century Hoover Crip. Uh, introduce yourself, man. Let the people know because coming from you is always better than coming from me. Okay. Name is CJ Groove. They call me CJ to everybody that know me from way back in the days. I remember me. Groove is later on when the Century thing came up. And I guess... Uh, as we move along, we'll get into how all that progressed. No doubt, no doubt. We're gonna get into that, and I think we're gonna start now. Um, what's your age, brother? Sixty-two. Okay, give 60. it a couple of weeks. Okay, Juneteenth for y'all if it comes out before then. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. We still standing. Sixty-three. That's what's happening. It runs so, deep. He'll explain it to you later. Okay. So hey, listen. Ah. We talked about that on the How, way. In. Yeah, we did. How did um where'd you grow up? Well, my story is I'm star certified. Mm -hmm. I'm star certified. I grew up on Century. Okay. 548, actually, was the address. That's the address. On Century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, G Man, who you know. Mm -hmm. 622 right after way, just mm -hmm. on the other side of Denver on oh. Century. Bobby was right across the street. Okay. On Century. You know, the little, you know, family yeah. baby. Yeah. Some kids, right? Back then, it had to be, yeah, it was all structured. It was little. Yeah. Right? But I say star certified, meaning I 
born to do this mm. because the hospital now known as USC, mm -hmm. I mean, what a school, I'm sorry, people, now known as USC was a hospital. That's why I was born mm. on Hoover. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Born on Hoover. Mm. Grew up on Century and Hoover. You went to what elementary schools did you attend? Oh, it was 97th Street when I went there. Yeah. A lot of homies went to 97th Street School. 98th, yeah. now it's somebody's name or something mm -hmm. it evolved into. Yeah. Yeah. But when I went there, it was 97th Street. It was 97th Street. School. Came yeah. in on 98th. Yeah. But it was called 97th Street School. Okay. Okay. Back so, in the 60s. That was back in the 60s, though. Yeah. Like man, you, come you, on, you, man. you got three come years on. on me. So, yeah. <laughs> all right all right hey listen i i you know i don't want to know this but i'm pretty sure the listeners and those who view this podcast want to know being that you're you're a century who was the first to come on the podcast they want to know i would think that uh you coming up on century in hoover what was that like what was going on as a child with you what what were the some of the things you were into because you're on a boulevard you on a a street that's full of traffic and shit, man. So how did y'all get it in, man? You weren't worried about getting hit by cars and shit, motherfucker. Like speed shit, and shit Come back on, then. Man. We talking about way back then, man. Yeah. All this traffic and stuff. We was on the boulevard, but it wasn't that. Rewind your clock back to when we were shut down during COVID. Mm -hmm. And how empty the streets and the freeways were. It was silent. Well, that's basically how it was. That's what it was. In the 60s. Mm -hmm. Everybody in there, you know. We played Daredevil and shot across and wait for, you know, try to shoot across the street before the car. Mm -hmm. We wait for it to get right there. And you know, the little homie mad and, you know, dart across the street in front of the car and, see that, and ask the homie, did it hit brakes? Yeah. <laughs> we on the other side. You know, you know what I'm saying? I, Different little stuff like that. Okay. Okay. The daredevil stuff, you know. Yeah, I get it. Throwing I get football it. Football on the yeah. other side, you throwing it back because it was a big old bull you, know? yeah. you know. I, I can see that as an little activity. Kid, you know, I, I kid, promise you. Know, you, know, yeah. you know, little kid stuff. Little kid stuff. Did yeah. Was y'all into the pigeons as you grew older and the mini bikes and the dirt bikes? <sighs> that came along. That came along. Preteen, what? 11, 12. Mm, okay. Then right. The years, you know. Right. Right. Okay. So I didn't do it personally, yeah, but okay. you know, my boys, you know, they did the, they had this and they did that, and I'm with them while they doing it. Hmm. You know, evolving, evolving with them. All right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, most of us, man. Well, most of the brothers when they come on the show, man they talk about, you know, what their experiences was initially, you know, before they come off the porch. Mm -hmm. And I think I ask these questions about a lot of these brothers because I want to know what their, if they can recall what their perspective was before they came off the porch, before they got involved in the life, so to speak, you know, as kids, you know, I, I, I remember my childhood vividly. This is why I ask, you know, and this is why I ask you, okay, what was that like for you? You know, the fruit trees, hopping over gates, roof to roof, these types of things, you know, that I know most of us do. That's that good shit. That's the yeah. You remember the good, yeah. and you remember the bad, and some yeah. of the in-between get lost. Yeah. You know, but that good is going to stick because it was good. Yeah. And the bad is going to stick because it hurt physically some or trauma. mentally. Some trauma. You know, so those two memories will stick. So mm. basically, you're looking at the goods, mm. you know, or you're looking at the bads when I broke the window and got a spanking. Mm. <laughs> you know, kids. And, and you know, that's what's goods, missing. Now. Little kids, what's doing, you picking the fruits off the tree, mm -hmm. you know, running around, jumping off the fence, jump on the nail, got rushed to the hospital, on, the old what? Broadway <laughs> hospital back in the day. You know, dog bitten. Kids, that's what you would call, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, good, bad, but you know, 
Yeah. Got in some trouble. Took a little candy from the stove. Mm -hmm. But everybody, they know you. Mm -hmm. I'm doing stealing the candy. Mm -hmm. I don't tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Discipline, church, mm -hmm. all that. Right there, 106 and Hoover. Mm -hmm. Right there. Star yeah, certified. Right. Star certified. Born. Star certified. Church, Bret Hart. Yeah. Century. Yeah. All the homies. Mm -hmm. Little. You grew up in, but from earlier years, you started doing this. Mm -hmm. You know me because we went to school together. Mm -hmm. You got the respect, but you already, you little something, you big something, you, mm -hmm. whatever you doing, putting in your work, you look, got your respect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You earned yours, you 15. You're doing it already. I'm mm -hmm. still a nerd, man. Yeah. I get it. I'm I nerd. It. I, I, I'm, I'm later in the game. You 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 talking about century now? You talking about early years in century? I'm way late in the game with the century game. Man. Yeah, that's fine. You're talking though. about century now. I'm going in the '60s and century didn't start till the '90s. But I hear you. We're going through. So you, you said century hoovers didn't start to the '90s. It didn't start before the end. Did it no, start before century the end? Hoover didn't start. The century before. hoovers didn't start till '90 what? '90. One. 91. Are actually, you sure? I, actually, I am sure. Okay. You know why okay. I'm sure? I don't want nobody to come back down. No, nah, Bubby, you wrong. Citra, who started in the late 70s? They can't tell you that. Okay, Daddy. You know why they can't tell you that? Because I'm Citra. Yeah. They're still telling you who? Yeah. What? If it started yeah. back yeah. then, yeah. why? Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Uh, 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 if they started back then, how come you don't know? Mm. Mm, right. Reputable was telling you. you about that I got back you. then. I understand. They that, knew yeah. about CJ. They didn't yeah. know about Century because yeah. it wasn't Century. I started Century. Got you. And I started Century because basically I had to. Mm. Why? Want to go back to? in a, a little what? bit, or before we jump to that, I, okay. I would yeah, because okay. you know, because that right. that's going to be part of history. Right. See, and and you right. speaking on something, hey, that... it kind of goes a little deep, but it's not really. That's fine. You know, however deep it goes, right. if we can go to the depth, then let's go there. The fact that you just meant you just said I just said you're one of the founders. You are the founder. Uh, well, yeah. And okay. then everybody I put together. N enough said. We're okay. gonna get to that. Uh -huh. I want to backtrack. So <laughs> now elementary that and, and you, you, you you brothers was doing y'all things, man, on Century Boulevard. You know, um, what junior high did you go to? Well, Went go to ahead. Bret Hart, 97. Mm -hmm. I was raised over there. I moved over there in 63. Okay. The house on Century that I just gave to you, 548, mm -hmm. used to be on 111th and San Pedro, between San Pedro and Avalon, in front of a, you can go down right now, you'll see a fire hydrant. From what I was told from my parents, that house used to be there where a lot of football field is. Mm -hmm. They had a way of transporting houses back then. Right. I, I put that mean. house there. They paid my dad to move because they wanted that property for mm. that school. Understand? I'm before the school. I'm before USC. USC used to be a hospital. It was a hospital before it was the college that, that came. I was born on who? Mm -hmm. I wasn't born out of school. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> you, you mentioned your parents. You had a two parent household? I did. There you go. What's that like? I mean, can you speak to the structure, the discipline, and all oh, that? Mama, man. church, come yeah. in when the lights come on. Come on. But my brother was 11 years a senior, and my sister is eight years a senior. So they grew up and pushed on. Service, mm -hmm. Air Force. Mm -hmm. I'm still like, <laughs> whatever. I'm by myself, like the only child now. Mm -hmm. Preteen, but I still had my mother. Yeah, and she was real structured. Pops work, and you know I'm gonna tell you, Dad, for the discipline, mm. and I, you know, chores around the house and being around a father figure. People don't understand how I became the street dude. That this guy, yeah, that you, from that family. That got me here right now because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I wasn't structured to be mm 
be that. Yeah, you weren't raised like that. You know, or wasn't yeah. structured to be like that. My parents didn't yeah. raise that. My parents raised. But it went left if you want to be involved in the story yeah. a little further. But hold on, let me jump in. See, you're a soft spoken brother, and I, I'm listening to you. I, I, want, I need you to make sure that might. So they catch everything. Okay, you said they okay. Go. All right. Because they're going to say to me, I can't hear him. Okay. Yeah, and, and right. that's beautiful, All man. Right. Your, your story so far is intriguing. Uh, I have to say, you got me captivated. I need you to keep going, man. Let me know about, again, the family structure. Because most of the people, and I'm going to be real short, most people who come on the podcast, most people who watch the podcast think that a lot of us didn't come from that type of household. Yeah, you get, you get me. Yeah, church structure oh, yeah. and respect. All I had it. You know, I had it. I had Can it. Can you speak pops to that? My pops did. You know, put me in a whip early. Mm. Driving at fifteen. Had my own license at sixteen. I'm driving. I went to watch. I'm supposed to go to lock, but I went to the watch. Mm. But I'm driving around school at sixteen. I'm like, them grade or some shit like that. I got my whip. Going in the auto mechanic shop. Hey. My car right there, look over the fence, my shit right there, everybody walking, catching the bus or whatever. Mm. I got me a 65 Chevy sitting out there. Mm. I, I'm in school, youngster. I ain't fixing it all up, but I'm driving. Right, you got a car. Back then. Yeah. That's 70. That's phenomenal. That's 70. <laughs> oh, man. You know, uh, I was supposed to be a 79er. Mm. The year I was supposed to graduate. Right. And what happened? I quit you wait. You did what? I quit you wait. You quit you wait. Yeah, I quit you wait. <laughs> they call it dropping out. I quit you wait. <laughs> not not graduate, but you quit you wait. <laughs> I quit you wait. <laughs> All right, man. You know, Listen, I got my yeah. GED though. Yeah. I got my GED because Actually, what they was really showing me in the school I was at, I'd already got from junior high. Mm -hmm. Some repetitive shit. you way to junior high. Mm -hmm. They just pushed me on to high school. And I carried that to the 10th, 11th grade, and I got my credits up, and then I started, they wasn't showing me nothing. I started missing school, ditching. Hmm. The only reason I didn't graduate it's because my credits got knocked off because I started ditching. You're talking about high school, though. High school. Let Washington. me backtrack. Bret Hart was first, though. Of course, junior high. You you quit Washington you quit you. high school. I suppose it went to lock. Okay, right. But Did you go to Bret Hart? My house moved, so we moved when I was in junior high. Okay. Over there off of Van Ness. Well, it was a street called Wilton. Mm -hmm. Off of 108. You heard that Ice Cube song? Ice Cube used to say, a, a dip on the hundred and eighth key mm -hmm. His mama used to, from what I was told, I never met the I dude. know the street, though. She mm -hmm. stayed on Cimarron, the dip. right? Yeah. Behind me. Ice Cube mama, I might have seen the brother, didn't know he way younger than me. Mm -hmm. I might have seen him, whatever, but his mama, before he became who he is, lived right behind me on the street called Cimarron. I throw my ball, go over the fence again, her yard. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know. I knew who he became when he was NWA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, his mama stayed. Oh, is that right? I stayed. Oh, damn. You know. Mm -hmm. so let me ask you. Y'all moved before you went to Bret Hart or after? I moved after in Bret Hart. My last semester, ninth grade, okay. I was over there. Okay. But I kept going to Bret Hart. Right. Got you. I finished in Bret Hart. Well, how'd you get there? You walk, rode your bike. I was on the you bus, to, man. You was on the bus. Yeah, RTD. Car, yeah. yeah. Randall RTD. T. Davis. <laughs> Randall T. Davis. Uh, I, I was to my child. So going through Bret Hart, you um, knew Salos, you knew 107s, did you know 90s, what, Coldens, what? Or was you act well, well, Hold on. Up, hold on, Coldin. because you know what, Bret, I think Bret Hart. I knew Colden before it was Colden. Right, real shit, right? Before yeah. the CC Cold and Crips. Before Actually, that, I was yeah, on, I, man. I, I watched the first head shot coming from school yeah. before these, these cats were still little, probably. Hmm. And Brill, right in front of the school. Hmm. Boom. Then, 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 holding hmm. his head, man. 
He's yeah. still alive. Yeah, but he got that bullet. Through the dome, right through yeah. the temple. Mm. He was holding his head. Man, I'm a youngster. This is PTSD. Mm. I just said, oh, damn, kept walking. Mm. I don't know if it was a trauma. Might have been a trauma. Mm. But I seen something like that. Yeah. Teenager, young teenager. You witnessed that. Couldn't 13? Yeah. Young I'm just starting. I'm seventh young. grade. Post teens, yeah. Young dude. Seventh grade. I just started teen. I didn't even hear teen. Pre teen, 11, 12. Yeah. I'm really, you know, I'm, like, I'm just there. I'm seventh grade. I'm a little, little book out of sixth grade. That was back mm -hmm. when sixth grade was still you. in existence. Sixth grade. Junior high was seven, eight, ninth. They got it way out now. Yeah, it's different now. Yeah, ninth grade. Mm -hmm. and... Damn, okay. It's another era, man. So, so you know, it, it's you know, it's interesting to know that okay, you had this this upbringing. You came up on Century. Your your dad was asked to sell us out. Y'all moved the house. <laughs> And a lot of people don't know they do this shit. That shit could actually be done. Had it on steel that, yeah, and all that until they still it down. Trailers, you can move a home from one spot to they another. They did that. And they, back then. Did that. I was a baby, though. So what? I'm just saying. I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a young yeah. fuck in the 60s beginning. Yeah. I'm born in 61. So yeah. they moved us like maybe 62. 63, actually. Or 63 was when it, we were able to move in it mm. after they buckled it down and yeah, finished got the, the foundation, foundation and whatever. got to hook it up. So I've been there since 63 that I can recall on Century. I'm mm. only two. Where's the house now? Who's in the house now? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, it's a not Spanish family, family right now. It's not I family. can't tell you though. I don't know. But it's still, it's right there. I drive past it. I show my wife and my kids. That's where your dad used to stay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This was your uncle Chuck. Wow. Stay. Ooh, ooh, you know. Wow. You know, my youngest daughter, she's 22, and she just, really, if she see this right here, oh, mm -hmm. my goodness, it's going to be all on the phone. Wow. That's something what you just said in terms of going by where you come up at. And, and me and my wife do it. We ride by where we came up, and, and it's a trip just to Okay, see, yeah. You, you know. know. I touched a lot of bases. Yeah. I, got, I, got, I got six decades around this cat. Yeah. Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. I touched a few corners. So, Bret Hart, then you went to, you supposed to went to Lock. Supposed to. You end up going to Washington. You had your car then. Well, we may, maybe had a car, what, year after you there or whatever, but you had a car yeah, going to Washington. Yeah. What was that like? Well, as I was saying, you know, at that time, I think I was 11th grade, 10th grade part, I was going through this little driver's ed, driver training mm -hmm. shit. That they give you the little courses in school, right. so you can pass the test at the mm -hmm. you know behind Get that the simulator, and then we had this little car they gave you and, and let each student drive. You know, I think they had the steering wheel on that side too. Yeah, but they let the students drive. Teacher over there, like three students, and everybody get a turn about 15, 20 minutes on the street. Mm -hmm. You get out of school, mm -hmm. I'm behind the wheel, I'm right through the hood. <laughs> I'm driving. Look. He wait. <laughs> Who wow, I want y'all to see me behind the wheel, you know what I'm saying? Doing that thing you ain't supposed to be doing. Yeah. I'm getting the education. Yeah. So I got all that. Did the DMV thing, and I ended up getting my learner's permit, they call it. Mm -hmm. That where I could drive yeah. on the street. With a parent or somebody with a license over a certain age, I can be mm. a driver. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pop shoots is take me to go get some beer. I need some beer. Throw the key. I'm getting that training in. Mm -hmm. I didn't know when I turned 16, he was going to gift me that car. He was letting me drive. Mm -hmm. That Chevy I'm talking he about. He gift you the Chevy, the 65. Congratulations. I'm proud of you know your I'm supposed to be that kid. I'm that kid. Pop's looking out. I'm his only son. I don't bro brothers, but his only son. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. With my mother. His gotcha. only son. I got a gotcha. older sister. But pop, my pop mm -hmm. only had two. My sister and me. She's understood. Older. The older brother I'm talking about from the 
it's from a different father. Gotcha. You know, and then it yeah. goes deep with yeah. other brothers and whatever yeah. that's connected. But anyway, he looked, I'm his boy. I'm his boy. He wanted a boy. I'm his boy. I'm a junior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, if he didn't want me to have his same name, you know, and I don't like it. I don't want to put it out there right now. If you don't mind, I don't like putting it. That's why I got the CJ going on. You, it's my you, first you had, name. You had to about junior. J is for junior. You just got to tell you that. Got you. The C is. All right. Got you. <laughs> to those of y'all out there listening and looking to know me, the homies, y'all remember why I don't like my name. Y'all know. Right. They know. Right. They know. <laughs> the ones that know. And you ain't got to share with the rest of us, man. Maybe came with me from the elementary to the junior high. They know why I don't like my name. They, you'll find out later, maybe. Maybe come in the comments. Maybe somebody drop it in. It'll the be a comedy. Say, yeah, they'll some be funny, like, oh, this is why you don't like his name. Stuff. So <laughs> that, that was that, man. And that might be TMI. <laughs> too, too much information. <laughs> so that was that, man. Uh, okay. Junior high right. was something. But your track. experience, though, did, did, did the car bring you any unwanted attention? Because, you know, Washington High, man, and what year was that? What year was that? Can you recall? I quit you eight in 79. You quit you eight in 79. So, oh, 79 was 78. Year. 79 was year. <laughs> 78. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of attention did that bring you, man? Did you, you know, some of the fellas, because, you know, Washington had that time had all, you know, not all kind of people, but there were different sets there. You know, I wasn't doing that at the time. You went, yeah, got you. Okay. I'm still nerdy. Yeah. Like, oh, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Got I'm growing you. up and I'm knowing everybody that grew up, like I said, already in the game. Mm -hmm. You doing this. Well, I run across you passing through the hood. Yeah. It's like, what's up? You already in it, active, woo, 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 doing mm -hmm. your thing. I'm just running across you. Hey, what's up, CJ? Mm -hmm. But you know me. Gotcha. I'm star certified. Mm -hmm. I'm still saluting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not a. You're not. I'm associated. Not active. I'm not affiliated. Okay. I'm associated. Okay. Start certified, born, raised, school, church, home. The whole thing is all age. My surroundings, the way I brought up, everybody I know. Mm. A few cats went 87 or, or whatever, but right. most of them. So for you then, coming off the porch, and, and I'm, I, I don't use that loosely, because you said you, you started late, so to speak. Way late, brother. Wait, what wait. what did it for you? What created that 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 time in space where you decided to here I go? Fuck that! I'm coming off in this yeah. shit, man. Yeah. Like you know, hey. See, now we evolved to the eighty. Okay. See, now we in the eighty. Okay. And guess what happened in the eighties, man? Cocaine. Mm -hmm. Another scourge. The cocaine boom, yeah. man. You know, everybody started getting their little dollars, money. Mm -hmm. That's so what did it. Click started evolving, man. Yeah, you went over here and started making some money. You started clicking. You yeah, yeah, yeah. now you this hood. Yeah, all yeah. these different little numbers and shit popping up and shit. Like that. Yeah. Well, you, but you started making some money. You started gathering up making some money. Got a little crew. You over here making your money, you protecting your little hood, so you became a little click. Mm -hmm. You know, because before that, earlier, just before it really evolved into most of these clicks, a lot of these cats was just break dancing and shit. Real shit. Mm -hmm. It was a pop block break dance it. crew <laughs> still writing on the wall. And <laughs> they had to look. Yeah. And they started making some money off the off the yeah, yo. Right. And they started forming their little crews. But then the OG crews is like, who's you? Nigga, no, nah, you gotta be. You can't, you know, so you're gonna be extorted. Mm -hmm. Just be over Paying taxes mm -hmm. or just be over get, You gotta shut that down and be from the hood and they scatter and become 
depending on how they got discipline. Like, I don't want to be in your hood. You, you came hard on me. I'm cool and go over here. <laughs> but the other ones is like, oh, well, we the homie. We live over here. So I'm going to just be that and just shut their little shit down and end up, you know, <clears throat> turn 60 or East Coast, whatever. from Hoover, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or yeah. East, whatever. Okay, you just got, you got turned into whatever now. Hence me starting with the 80s, which you just asked. All these years prior, I was just CJ throwing okay. a Hoover. You know me from, you know. Yeah. So it was just Hoover. Yeah. It was Hoover for me. From uh, King all the way to El Segundo. Mm-hmm. So Hoover. Mm-hmm. Hoover. Well, Hoover, you from Hoover. Said again from where? Hoover. <laughs> from King to what? El Segundo. God damn. All right. Uh, well, you know. See that's where I stop at over this way because mm-hmm, of that's right. USC and all that. I mean, the, yeah. the Coliseum. Because, yeah. And you don't cross like to after USC. So, from that point, full trade back in the day, all the way, all the way up to, you know, El Segundo, mm-hmm. if you're up that way. What, what, <laughs> what, 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 you decide? That it would be Hoover because you're on Century in Hoover. That part. You know? The what what part, made you decide to, to create or uh, start the Century Hoovers? Because you could have been Century Gangster. You could have been, been Century Eat. You could have been Century whatever the hell. Why Century Hoover? Because I've been prior to that. Saluting. Throwing up the, you yeah. know, two fingers down. Like you say, you wasn't, you were, you were not aff- affiliated. Associated. You was associated. You wasn't affiliated. affiliated. Okay. You know, so I've been doing this so long. It's mm-hmm. CJ from Hoover. You get in, you do me, CJ from mm-hmm. Hoover. Mm-hmm. That's, oh, that's my homie, CJ from Hoover. Mm-hmm. So you and When did you put me Hoover? on? Yeah. When did you put me on? <laughs> Dude, CJ from Hoover. You don't remember that, but hey. Okay. Yeah. I mean, damn, and you know me, we're yeah. doing it. So basically, my history is not a jump on thing. Mm-hmm. You didn't get put on. Not jump. I, I understand. I understand. Yeah. I, I, I would have been, that's the other part, why the century part, and then it, it goes deep. Mm-hmm. I've been doing this for years. What when you cats were still young, and I've been now it evolved into these little cliques, 80s, dope. You got power, you, you, your rep is, because now you balling, you got cars and mm-hmm. money, and you, mm-hmm. everybody know you, you putting it, you know, got little homies, who, you, you down to such and such number five or whatever now. Yeah. You, little homies, yeah. you got a rap, Infants, you know, you, embryos and shit, yeah. <laughs> come on, man, you know, it was big homies. Yeah. But I, I, got, I, I basically got along with little homies and baby homies. Mm-hmm. Honestly, because I started so late, mm-hmm. my little homies, except for the ones I grew up with, is big homie, mm-hmm. and then the little homies go back and hey, I met CJ Goo, and then the big homies be like, oh, that's the that's the, you know, oh, you know, you know CJ Goo, I oh, yeah. because mm-hmm. we the same age, but they ain't heard about the groove part. The little homies is with the groove part, gotcha. and that name came because. They started saluting all anybody that they know that Hoover as Groove. Groove. Mm-hmm. Groove. Yeah. Everybody was Groove. What's up, yeah. Groove? What's up, Groove? Groove, yeah. But when it came to me, a big homie, I'm answering to the name Groove. What's up, Groove? What's up, Groove? What's up? And then the homies just introduced me as Groove. And it just stuck. Hmm. Well, I'm that- CJ. Big Groove, CJ. I'm CJ. Mm. But the little homies is finding out through the other little homies. I, you know, Groove, you know, Big Groove, you know, Big Groove. Yeah. yeah. They spreading the name Groove out because they out there running the streets doing their thing, man. I'm a mm. big homie to them. Mm. I'm another homie to y'all. Can't see the big, you know, I'm, I'm home. I'm, hey, what's up, CJ? Oh, you know, such and such. Oh, yeah. That's such a, such a, that's twin. That's such a, such a, woo, woo, woo. come on, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Got you. And from 
Shiesty. You know, Shiesty. Eh? That's all, boy. Come on, man. Come on, the big home. Okay, you know, let, let me ask and, you. And, 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 and <laughs> baby Shiesty. Yeah. L- listen, so with this full ass. Uh, Century Hoover. <laughs> Again, you, you decided to start Century Hoover. Who did you start it with? And how did it conce- it conceptualized how? You you already, you know, you associated and became affiliated. What decision was made to make it Eston Stone that this is what it is now, Century Hoover? And who was with you when that occurred? In the 80s, the little youngsters was, I couldn't just be Hoover no more. Mm-hmm. Couldn't be this Hoover. You could like be just what? The where, which one? Mm-hmm. You know, which one? Which one? It, 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 it evolved to that. I don't know, those homies, some of those homies in the little hoods, I don't do press on which one. Okay, you say you're from Hoover, you throw in the. the Got the gear on, whatever. But which one? Mm-hmm. It's just who? What you talking about? Got to be a certain one, mm-hmm. right? Okay, all right. See, that's the involvement of the century. Uh, Based on question, which who kept pressing? Which one? You know what I'm saying? Can't just be, you know, King to Elsa Gundam no more. You know what I'm saying? But I'm old now, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm pressing 30, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And little young cats is like, damn. So I say, man, I ain't got to do something like this. Shit. I got I can't be a little homie now because right. I'm a little such and such, but I'm older than you. How that work? Mm-hmm. I can't be a little from seven four. Baby, such and such, mm-hmm. and nine, do something. Gotcha. Cause my homies, I should have been big. I can't be a. How you 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 your age, but I'm your little homie. Right, <laughs> right. Got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. You older than me. Hold up, yeah, man. you my little homie. Hold up. Yeah. I watched you dribbling the yeah. basketball, man. Yeah. And all this, uh, I'm your little homie. Okay. So I have two questions. So that's, that. Okay, go ahead. But that's how century basically started because I couldn't. But anyway, go ahead. You, you started it because you you the, you didn't want to be a number. Something that's already up and running. I wouldn't have mind if they would have let me be. I'm jumping in on your level. Mm-hmm. In an establishment. I can't jump in as a, a big homie in your establishment. Who, that's right. I'm just old enough, but I ain't. You ain't been there. Ain't been there my rep in that hood to be right. a big homie all of a sudden. I would have to be a little homie under somebody. You went. I thought you weren't feeling that though. I can't. I yeah. look. Right. I'm gonna be a little homie. I'm five years older than you. Yeah. I, I, I was out of high school when you used to. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You just jumping out of junior high in high school. I'm finished, and I'm your little homie. Mm. Yeah, it don't look right. It don't look right. Don't I mean, or, right. I mean yeah. I make it make sense to me. Yeah, I, I, right. We talking about the century involvement. I, we evolved because I couldn't see that happening. Hmm. You know, but I didn't want to let go of my respect I had as who. Hmm. Think of it like a McDonald's brand, hmm. but I'm a franchisee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got. You. I got a McDonald's, I got but it's my yeah. stuff. Yeah, I don't, you know, I operate you under the same umbrella. Right. I'm over here with it, but I'm McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Still, right. See, who started it with you? Well, after I got together with. It was mostly not. I mean, you it don't have to few, name them if you don't. It was a few. I, I can't remember all. Of them. Yeah. But those was, those main ones it was, about, it was okay to mention. About three cats. I really don't remember all the names. I think it was two nine deuces and a sailor. Mm. And the one nine deuce, I do remember his name. I hope you don't mind me saying. I'm not going to say it's government. 
Mm-hmm. They call yeah, him give Lil. me street name. They call him Lil Nine Three. Who? Little John. Little John. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's the old boy. <laughs> You know his his sister and I, yeah, his little brother. Little boy, Lil John was on the show. Was he? Yeah. That's the homie, girl. Yeah. So you saying that like you ain't watched the show? I, I mean, I that's the homie. I don't know yeah. about the show, but that's the homie. Man. I'm saying, okay, yeah, that's the homie. But you ain't watched the show because you just seen Lil John on the show. I'm sorry, I watched. That's, okay. I that's all right. I, you on now? We gonna have hey, you, you know, cry by the end of the yeah. day. In the, the family, the down. family, the family knows they know C. Yeah. And actually, the conversation I'm telling you about the century mm-hmm. evolved with look. Mm. Hey man, what do you think about me doing this on the boulevard? Mm-hmm. With a couple other ones, maybe he can remember the other names. I'm, I, yeah. I'm I, I running short, but it was about yeah. three of us out there for me. Right. I'm like looking. I'm telling them the story. I'm like, this cat's pressing. Plus, I ran this to him to kind of sell them on it, on the century thing. To kind of sell them on it. They already knew. I'm their age. Mm-hmm. I'm older than them, actually. Mm-hmm. You so you know, they was like, okay, yet. you know, they know me already. Yeah. The story I told you about me saluting and affiliation mm-hmm. and associations and mm-hmm. all that. So when I said this, it was like, oh, it's all good as long as it's age, it's age. And, and again, just to just make clear, you said what to him? You want to start your own get out? What do you think? I'm paraphrasing my own words here, but what do y'all think about me starting up since removal? And, and my pitch was, I said that, but I was like, ain't nobody after 107 to 94. There's a big gap in there. Mm. We fill in that space. Since we run the boulevard, we take it from here to 97 or Colden and take it up here to say 105th. And there, you know, and then mm. 107 was right there on the Vermont end. We were running it down here on the on the other end, on the Figueroa end. Mm. The only big D duck. No right shit. Right there on the other end. Okay. Between Denver and who? We were right there on the other end. You know, Clint's hamburger stand, the Hoover Market, all mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. That was our center hub. Mm. We crossed the other side over there, ride our bikes. What's up, homie? They come passing through going to Tams and y'all got it over here. Yeah, you got it over there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my side took it from my all the way to Normandy and all up in the we were down this way with it, you know. And you know, we had people coming through in the middle because car washes is boulevard, like you said, but they ain't trying to. <clears throat> Can't settle down up in here, right? You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? They need, hey, we need press on these. Just gotta get these out of there, and then vice versa. Mm-hmm. The other who is they boys in jail or whatever, they have to come and find somebody to run with them while such 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 doing this little thing. Come get up, grab a century, you know? You know, come yeah. drift with me over here. You know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, so beside little John, who who else that you can recall? Oh, well, as far as after that, that was the initial meeting when I was getting together with on what they think about the the, uh, the Boulevard thing. All right, the Century Hoover. Yeah, and you Once went to that meeting said, with who? Hoover. Who you go to that meeting with? That, that I was just me. by yourself. Oh, they was All over right. on the block. Matter All of fact, right. I think he had a little apartment yeah, upstairs, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? At yeah. the time. Okay. It was the hood. He had a little yeah. apartment up there, you know. We, we, you know, a little trap. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. We standing out front. You know what I'm saying? I see the homie. Over there. All right, what's up? Coming from the gas station or whatever. Mm-hmm. See the homie standing out there. I'm standing out there with him. We, we, we chop. You know, it's the hood. It's century and who year is that? That was 90. 
89. No, that was about 90. No? I don't know. Honestly, that was 91. I think that was just before the riots. Okay. Because all this, all the century part didn't start till. I went to the pen, man. It didn't start till I got it. Mm-hmm. You know, I did some time at CMC mm-hmm. for cocaine. Mm-hmm. It was a cocaine era. I kept mm-hmm. getting caught mm-hmm. up, man. I finally got caught up, man. You know what I'm saying? So when I came back out, you know, basically those through the era before then, I was getting hearing that, you know, which one, but when I got out, it was but I had to uh I had to give up that game. Gotcha. But at the same time, I didn't want to give up my reputation. Right. Right. You know. So when I came up with the cats, was, let's do this and run with it. So I just went with family. Right. Okay. Everybody from the uh that started with me, and this was basically family. You was on century already. Mm. Bobby. Duh. Mm-hmm. Uh not G man, because he was 107. Okay. Under twin in there. But his kids. Yeah. Little Gil. Yeah. Kenny, you know, yeah. it was you know, Hershey was right down the street. Blunt look was right up the street. You said Hershey. Yeah, Hershey yeah. look. Blunt. You know, then I had, you know, other families, but we started as family. It was a family right. thing just to right. navigate the hood. Mm-hmm. You're not pressing on enemies or whatever you want to call them or other hoods. You're not going over there and saying where you're from on this, this tap on you just because mm-hmm. you wear this color. You in your powder you. blue and your red. Got you. You didn't land the street. You you in your world, but don't come over here. <clears throat> This century we're gonna push back yeah, this century over i mean recognize it yeah, now I hear you. you yeah. know as we got a few people that have pushed back yeah. you come over here with it you can't just come running in between yeah. them. just because sailo is way over there and you come running like the ambulance or we'll do way over there come running like the police who's coming all late no mm-hmm. we right here now yeah and we holding this little section down and y'all held it down Trey folks, 7-Eleven, the deuce and the nine. You have been, you will be under the field. But we ain't Two game banging. This is about the education. We're trying to educate our youth right now, yeah, nigga. Hey. Said day is the best day to skip walking across the floor in the best way. From train to the one way, it's a stump day. LA to the NY, let the funk You know, back in them days, it was Seven love, loyalty, respect, and honesty. That's my nigga Gumby right Nowadays, there. You know, you know, ex busters, hooks, and snitches put on pedestals and bitches. Don't say lows on that Uber shit. HIP, Tommy Moon, one of the hardest. Poets I ever heard connected with this star shit. Hey. Baby Jap and Jap 5, quick to set it off on the mic in the shack live. When the shit get real and feel, cause the wheel, and then you will see, like a sitting up in that motherfucker, looking at that light center, at death center, then they run into a witness staff, yelling on me all home, boys, boys. Yeah. Hoover stomp. Oh, I know you talk about how I start them kids. I'm a New York nigga in the Pacific Sun. I say West Side. Who if you ask where I'm from? Find this California run, still fusing my lungs. All about my bread. I ain't leaving. Understand the end game. What's your end game? What's your purpose? Keep one in the head, or I don't need a gun. I'm with Hawk on Hoover Street with a long ass jump. Hop a damn figure out with a whole stolen cut. You ass be like this. Come second to none. Grooving like Scotty Young. Grooving like Booker Brown. I'm back to the bone.